Okay guys, Mr. Lambert here, and uh, today we're going to work on factoring numbers. And when we factor numbers, what we're doing is we're taking a number right here, and we're breaking it down into numbers that can multiply to equal this number. Okay, and I'll show you what that means in a second. You may wonder, well, why do we know, have to know how to do this? This will really help when you are working with fractions and you have to reduce or simplify fractions or even come up with equivalent fractions. Um, knowing how to factor numbers really helps in that arena. I have another video um, that tells you how to use um, these techniques that I'm showing you right now using a factor tree in order to reduce fractions or simplify fractions. So we'll start out with um, this number right here, 48. Okay, and the first thing I said is to make a factor tree. Now, a factor tree is just a series of branches with numbers at the end of them. And on every level of our tree, we will have two numbers that when you multiply them together, they equal the number before. And I'll show you what that means. So 48, I need to divide that because it says use division to help figure out what two numbers can I multiply to get 48. Well, I'm going to use 2 and 24. Now are those the only two numbers that I can multiply to get 48? Of course not. But I like to use prime numbers, okay? And I know if I have an even number, I can always divide it by 2. So that's what I'm going to do. I use this num this um, red for the number 2 because that's a prime number and it says stop when you get to prime number. So I don't have to I can't break this number down into any, anything else. No two other numbers are going to equal um, 2, other than 2 in itself. So I make this little oval right here, and it shows that this level right here on the tree, 2 times 24, does equal the number that came before it with 48. Okay, so I need to make some more branches now, only off the 24, because number 2 is a prime number, and we stop when we get to prime numbers. So just like I did before, I am going to um, use a 2 for this 24. And why? Because I like prime numbers. And I know if it's even, it can always be divided by 2. So 12, 24 divided by 2 is 12. And I know that 12 times 2 is 24. Okay. 2 I can't break down any further, but I can with this one right here, 12. Okay, so I make my branches coming out. I'm going to look and see what it is. 12 is, um, I'm going to use a 2 because tw I know 12 is a even number. And I like prime numbers. So 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, and I use division for that. I, I took 12 and I divided it by 2. And that got me 6. And when I take my oval and move it down, I look right here, and yep, 2 times 6 does equal 12. Okay, uh, on this level of the factor tree, these two numbers multiply to that number um, on top of it, the number that came before it. 2 is a prime number. I'm going to stop, well, and then I'm going to, I still need to um, break down number 6. And 6, two prime numbers multiply to make number 6. First, 6 is even, so I'm going to use 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay. Six And 2 times 3 equals 6. Now I have all my red prime numbers right here. So then sometimes you may be asked to write a prime factorization or a prime factor expression. And what you do is you basically multiply all those prime numbers together in your expression. Okay. I'm going to do that right now. I have 2 times 2 oops, times 2 times 3. Okay. Those numbers right there are my prime number factors. Okay. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 equals 48. Actually, I need to put one more 2 in there. It's 4 twos times 3 equals 48. So I started with my 48. 
I broke it down by figuring out what two numbers would multiply to make that I used division, and I stopped when I get to, got to prime numbers. Now going back up to here, I told you that 2 and 24, those aren't the only two numbers that, that multiply to make 48. So I'm going to show you another one. As you can see, I have 48, the same as I did before, but this time I am not going to use 2 and 24. A lot of you may have um, seen 48 and said 6 times 8 equals 48. And yes, it does. And I can do 6 and 8, and guess what? I'm going to get the same answer as I did before when I look at what numbers I stop with. Okay, now 6 and 8, neither of them are prime numbers, so I have to break them down even further. Okay, I'm going to make this go a little wider just so we have room. And 6 is the same as 2 and 3. And as you may notice, they are both red because they are both prime numbers. Okay, I'm going to bring this one a little closer just so we can see. Okay? This tree is not going to be as pretty as far as where the branches are. Now, 8 can be broken down into 4 and 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. And I have my 2 is red because it's a prime number. And my 4 isn't red because it's not a prime number. Okay, 2 can be broken down. Sorry, 4 can be broken down. Okay, I can take two numbers and multiply them to get four. And what's easy about it is they are the same number. You can probably figure out what they are. It's two and two. Okay, and two and two are both prime numbers. Okay. Now, I can make another expression again. I can make another prime factorization expression. Okay, my big multiplication sentence like I did before, using all of these prime numbers. Well, guess what? I have one, two, three, four twos, and one three. Two times two times two, oops, times two times three. Four twos and one three. They multiply to get 48. If you look back on the last slide we had, guess what? four twos and one three. So it doesn't matter how you start it or which numbers you use first when you're, which factors you use first. As long as you keep factoring them, keep breaking them down and stop when you get to the prime numbers, you'll get the same ones. Okay. Now, if you need um, help with using these, these factors and prime factors in order to make um, reduced fractions, Subscribe to my channel, click on the Simplifying Fractions video, and it will show you how I use this technique in order to always get the most simplified fraction.